truly be able to host the presence of God until you are a worshiper indeed. First with your life and then the art of worship, you invest time. You see, let me tell you something about worship. What this gentleman is playing, for instance, it just looks like sounds. But even though your mind may not understand it because your mind has not been trained to understand this, until words are put in it, you may not understand. How be it? What you are hearing that just looks like just a flow of sound, these are languages in the spirit. And your spirit man is able to understand it. Just like tongues. When you pray in tongues, your mind is unfruitful. However, your spirit is edified. You must create an atmosphere in your home, in your office. You must find time when you invest in cultivating that atmosphere for his manifested presence. God's presence does not show up everywhere. He is everywhere. But his manifested presence, there is an atmosphere that allows for his presence to come. This is very important. Psalm 100 verse 2, popular psalm. 100 verse 2 psalm 100 verse 2 the bible says to serve the lord with gladness and to come before his presence with singing imagine what happened here at the time of worship imagine what happened here yesterday at the time of worship now imagine if that becomes a regular practice as far as your christian experience is concerned there was an evil spirit that came upon saul scripture records and Saul had that evil spirit and they brought this young boy called David and the moment David began to play to play the harp the Bible says that evil spirit had something he was hearing more than music there was a voice that that melody carried and the evil spirit had to exit praise the name of the Lord so when you saturate your atmosphere Many of us come from different um, African backgrounds and there is no traditional festival that attempts to bring spirits that music is absent in. Is that true? There will be a system of conjuring music. People dance and dance until they come on that an intense influence of spirits. Then they begin to prophesy or they begin to perform some sort of magic, some extraordinary manifestation. But it will take time. Remember when the king made a 90 feet statue of gold. He said until you hear the sound of music, when you hear the sound of worship, then you bow. Worship is powerful as far as the presence of God is concerned. Psalm 63 from verse 1 psalm 63 from verse 1 the contemplations of the psalmist oh god thou art my god early will i seek you my soul thirsted for thee my flesh longs for you in a dry and a thirsty land where no water is to see your power and your glory as i have seen in the sanctuary because thy loving kindness is better than life my lips shall praise you you don't just worship with your heart alone your lips your lips first i will bless thee while i live using my lips for as long as i live it's not only my heart that will praise you it's not only my money that will praise you my lips will also be an instrument of worship he says thus that way as long as i live i will lift up my hands even unto your name so you wake up in the morning and the first thing you hear is not all the noise around the world that in five minutes can dampen your faith and you say God are you still alive imagine waking up to such worship your atmosphere is saturated by an intense presence of God and there you are on your bed or on your knees and technology has made it easy there is no excuse whatsoever And you just soak in that glory worship is playing like this father this is just to tell you i am grateful 
thank you for the gift and the blessing of the morning to be among the living is an honor i will not take for granted thank you jesus i love you i bless you i love you and god says who is calling me who is calling me there is a sound that my soul delights in you see the bible says whoever you serve that you become a slave to that person let me explain to you what that means that means frequency makes anything you do become a custom in the spirit and an altar is established around that activity that means if i steal it may not be that a demon spirit came upon me to steal i just use my will to steal but if i steal again i'm attracting the spirit that empowers theft my frequency will make that spirit say someone is calling me one day i will put my hand to steal and that spirit would have come to rest upon me i'll not be able to stop stealing again are you seeing how it is the same way with prayer you may go to pray you don't feel empowered but you continue doing it your frequency is attracting the dimension of the holy spirit that is the spirit of prayer and supplication one day you will go to the place of prayer it will no longer be you again from that day you will not be able to stop again it will become like an initiation frequency of activity builds a spiritual altar around that activity and the spirit mandated to empower that activity will certainly come to you it's a spiritual principle it's more than a habit so when you get up in the morning lord i love you i love i love this is your morning i love your presence I love, I love, I love your presence. By the next morning, you will be surprised that almost at the same time, because you have shown the Holy Ghost that I have prepared this time for you, I've invested it. He will come to honor it. He will wake you up no matter how tired you are. He will impart strength. The first few days you say, ah, do I have this strength? You may not be able to sing, but let the worship play. You are attracting that dimension of the Holy Spirit. A time will come in your life, even if you sleep by 4, if it is 4.30, he will wake you. And there will be strength. One revelation that will come from that 30 minutes encounter can be the next 10 years of your business. The next 20 years of your business. You are just worshipping him and you come and you tell you, look, A, B, C is not profitable for your growth. This is the strategy. This is the way. His presence. Worship is powerful. We must invest time. In truth, the average believer has the resources and the opportunity to create that atmosphere of worship if you are interested in. Are we together? A person in experience eventually met the Lord. So worship and prayer, these are powerful spiritual keys. Please look up. Worship and prayer are powerful spiritual keys that help people to access divine presence. You can teach your children. They will come and meet you worshiping. You don't even have to tell them to do it. They will join you one day. And then it becomes a culture. I worship you. I bless you. You know, there are many families that practice this. Whether it's early in the morning or evenings, they gather people as a family and do it. But most times, when the devil sees that level of unity and spiritual growth, he will bring up activities that distract that kind of unity. Everybody becomes busy, occupied. And the moment that happens, you say, okay, everybody, you just go and worship your God by yourself. You open the door and you find everybody sleeping. That backsliding will start gradually until it gets to a point where rather than a worship song, you're going to see children playing video games or browsing. I'm not saying those things are wrong, but I'm telling you there is a time for everything. If you don't give God attention, you will never truly carry his presence. I'm sorry to say it, but this is one of the plague bedeviling this generation the distraction of 
the misuse of technology it has eaten up everything god in church while a sermon is going on like this the holy ghost is coming to bless people and you'll be surprised to see what someone is doing just browse ah don't worry how are you i'm in church are you fine i noticed you were not happy yesterday how many minutes in god's presence the value of his presence when you really want to spend time praying you don't pray with your phone on your hand and check in the devil knows what to do to your mind just one text message just one information ah, i thought the alert entered what is this reversal for that prayer has stopped now you see you must shut everything and say lord this is me and this is you i have come if you do not lift me i cannot be lifted if you do not bless me i cannot be blessed i know that i have myriads of issues but i'm not here to come and make a lot of noise i am here for you and he says you love me that much you honor me that much then it's time to lift you to a new dimension we must trust god for grace in the name of jesus from this conference to create the atmosphere for his presence are we together yes we can challenge ourselves find people there are great worship people in this church they can put a compendium of worship songs powerful worship songs you can have them in a flash have them in your device and you just play technology has made that there's no excuse the remote can be with you while you're lying down so there's no you can wake up struggle for 15 minutes eventually you are up and then you can pray i'm not telling you what i don't do this is my life sincerely 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 you can fake power but you cannot fake genuine relationship with god you cannot fake genuine presence no and when you stand on stage and call him names that you are not used to calling him in the secret it will be clear to the listeners that you are just pretending oh lord you are alpha you are omega it sounds strange there is no frequency in the usage of that name there is no genuine connection are we blessed so love and passion and hunger for god a committal to pleasing him through obedience and then number three the atmosphere of prayer and worship i love you lord and i lift my voice to worship you oh my soul rejoice take joy my king this is not a special number in what you hear and let it be a sweet sweet sound listen we're wrapping up while you are there worshiping god is waking somebody and say have you forgotten this person it is two years you are supposed to you are not praying that oh you are just fellowshipping with him when his presence comes while you are there worshiping he's searching your life i'm seeing that there is a financial issue there is an embarrassment about to happen to this family for the sake of my name i will not allow this shame happen you are there worshiping i'm telling you this is how it works And someone will stop his sleep and wake up you are done worshiping and you see six missed calls someone who did not call you in five years where are you uh, I was having some time with God please first thing in the morning come to my office and you say Lord what are you doing and he says you go and see this is what I do to those who love me this is what I do to those who place value on my presence you will receive many people's prayer requests as a gift that a lover gave you for loving him whilst you're worshiping that pain sometimes you can be worshiping with a medical report in front of you lord can the dead praise you 
This is a medical report that is threatening this relationship that has been for 35 years. 35 years of worship every day. Now there is a report of cancer. Now there is a report of some kind of thing. Will this thing kill me and then not give me an opportunity to praise you? And God says, who is coming to stop a voice that I've heard every day? You would find out people's testimonies who were healed, not because a man of God prayed for them. No. It was their business with God and he just came to them. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down and every ocean roll to the lord of lords i will praise adonai listen from the rising of the sun till the end of every day Praise Adonai All the nations of the earth All the angels and the saints Sing praise There was a time I locked myself And I prayed and worshipped the Lord For 72 hours My eyes did not see the sun I did not come out I was not asking for, oh God, do this now. I remember a vow that God made to me after that time. That is still speaking till tomorrow. I'm not saying you have to do it that way. I'm just telling you that there is nobody who rises by mistake. The priority, he says, he that honors me, I will honor. He that despises me, I will lightly esteem. This, this is truth. This is scripture last song and we're done with this morning service you're all i want can you stand on your feet yeah. you're all i've ever needed you're all i want help me know you let it be your prayer. Oh, you're all I want. You're all I've ever needed. You're all I want. Help. Last year, at this conference, I spoke about the book of Esther and I revealed a very deep mystery that I want to use to finish this first service. The difference between Vashti and Esther was that one was focused on the agenda of the king. The other was focused on her agenda. Vashti was using royalty to enthrone herself. And when the king sent for her, she forgot she was only queen because she married a king. It was not her that made him queen. It was marriage to a king that made her to be called queen. Oh king, don't send for me. I have my own empire. And the king said, the elders came to advise the king. He said, if you don't drive this woman out of your palace, all our wives will start doing the same thing. Esther was almost making that mistake. And Mordecai said, Madam, remember someone was dethroned for you to sit there. If you really want to continue reigning as queen, focus on the king. Oh, bride of Christ, hear me. The secret to remain seated, oh Esther, is to not make the mistake of Vashti. Vashti was using the king to satisfy her need. And one day she woke up and found out that the crown of royalty was no longer on her head. But let me tell you this. It was worship and consecrated attention on the king that brought her man down. Lifted Mordecai also. There is power when you forget yourself 
and focus on him it's not irresponsibility it is trust it is proof that you know that he's not irresponsible both as God and as your husband hallelujah all of the worries and the cares if you are to pray and everything you are saying is lord you see this issue of a job you see this issue of this but i'm not here to complain about my many struggles by your spirit and your grace listen I'm confident you'll solve them, but I'm here to say I love you. I'm here to say I adore you. I'm here to say. I love you, I love to love you. We're wrapping up. Do you know there are some times that you just play these worship songs and you fall asleep and in the realm of the spirit you keep hearing them. Your spirit man is alive and this time around you are not only hearing them you are acting you are living in the reality of what you are hearing and you will have deep encounters you will wake up under intense dimensions of God's presence you will carry anointings you will carry graces you just wake up and know something happened to me the person who went to bed is not the person who has woken up favor is upon my life it was a song that was about favor it was a song about his presence praise the lord praise the lord let the earth hear his voice praise the lord let the people rejoice oh come to the father through jesus listen to what you're saying and give it the glory great things two prayer points and we're done in this morning service we just have about three minutes prayer point number one lord restore my hunger and my love for you restore it please pray I'd like us to join our mothers, join our aunties, join our sisters in prayer. Restore. Lord, when I was a teenager, there was a way I walked with you. When I was a young adult, there was a way I walked with you. I don't know what has distracted me out of that formula, that pattern. Restore me back, oh God. In the name of Jesus, someone is praying. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. Restore me. I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the things I made when it's all about you. It's all about you. Jesus be the center of my life That's my prayer Lord Jesus be the center of my life ah. 
From beginning to the end It will always be, it's always be you, Jesus Oh, Jesus, nothing can 